It's a pity that Stephen didn't play that well. Well, it was only 5-3 overnight, of course, but he hasn't shown the form that he did when he won this title. And just look at that shot. That was unbelievable. Ronnie's cracked the red in the middle, lots of top spin, and ploughed the cue ball through the pack for the pink. Wonderful shot. And, um, yeah, Stephen McGuire has not quite captured that form in the last year and a bit, um, Dave, that, he, that exactly. he showed in winning this title. Yes, it was another one of those matches I think we thought could go close, as we were saying with John Higgins and Stephen Lee, but in the end, Ronnie just dominated yesterday. 4-0, OK, Maguire came back to 4-3, but I think the last frame was crucial. O'Sullivan reasserting his authority to lead 5-3, and then this afternoon he's just blitzed Maguire away. Well, the thing is, I just, just, just for me looking at Ronnie yesterday, thinking 5-3, look at this, is the shot again, bang. Oh, look at the spin there. Um, it, these days, Ronnie just seems so much in control of himself. He showed great form in the Premier League a few weeks ago, beating Jimmy White in the final there, 7-0. He's come here, you know, and he's already had a victory over Ricky Walden, 9-8. Fell over the line there a little bit, although he did make a century in the last frame. But um, yesterday, even at 5-3, he didn't look unduly concerned. He just, you just look at him now and think, well, he's got one gear, two gears, perhaps three gears to go into. And uh, you had the feeling that he was going to come out and play like this this afternoon. Well, worth seeing again. Tremendous shot, that. Ronnie O'Sullivan hadn't been to this stage of the tournament for three years. Steve Maguire beat him two years ago and Mark King last year in the opening round, but he's playing a lot better here this year. 22. Well, if he were to finish the match off here and go into the quarterfinals, the second play into the quarters, he will meet the winner of Stephen Hendry or Mark Williams. Now, that could be mouth-watering. Absolutely. Well, their match itself is uh, one to look forward to. And whoever wins, guaranteed 28. a classic pairing. Stephen Hendry struggled, actually, against Dave Howell to win eventually 9-7. Mark Williams is beginning to look better. He had a good win over Gerard Green 9-7. So it'll be interesting to see how those two play in their encounter. Yeah, I suppose on form, you'd perhaps make Williams slight favourite. But... Uh, as you say, they both struggle to get through the opening round, so you never know. Could be a close one, that. Hmm, could be. Well, that wasn't a close pot. Ronnie... 36. I was thinking, a little fortunate to see that pink go in, but he's still in amongst them. And uh, we can make, make a uh, match-winning break here with the black out of commission in the middle of the back cushion. He scored very heavily here in this session. As we've mentioned, breaks of 82, 66, 100 in the last. And when these sort of positions have presented themselves, he's made the most of them. Favourite to win this tournament, of course. John Higgins, second favourite. Mm, Ronnie was 2-1 to one yesterday, 2-1. to one, uh, Now he's 7-4. to four. Cut a little bit more, and there's the pot success rate. 87 for Stephen Maguire, that's not high enough. Ronnie at 94 plus. Uh, that's quite high, actually, and that reflects in the scoreline. He just looks so comfortable, doesn't he? He looks in control in the zone. 56. Well, you've just mentioned about the potential of John Higgins being the title winner. With his form, this man does also. Let's not forget that Ding Xun Wei will be seen soon against uh, Matthew Stevens in that last 16 match, and he is the defending champion. But at the moment, the form boys are Ronnie and John Higgins. Yeah, and I mentioned Higgins won the first tournament of the 63. year, the Masters at Wembley. This is the man he beat in the final, and what a classic final it was. 10-9, Higgins winning with a 64 clearance to the black. Tremendous finish, that from John Higgins under pressure. Steve Maguire at the moment, a man under pressure. He knows he won't get another shot now in this match. Flame safe. Well, Stephen has had his chances, hasn't taken them. Oh, look at this, all pinks. Not often you see that, Mike. No, 15 pinks. 77. Well, the colours. 78. Tell me what that total is then. Well, it's 15 less than 147, so <laughs> it's 132. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> I knew that, I was asking you. No, actually, I didn't. I was just giving myself a bit of time. Whatever. Ronnie, as John Higgins, has been superlative. 
Yes, he is a joy to watch when he's in top form, no question about it. You can see that by the capacity audience here in York this afternoon. And as usual, he hasn't uh, failed to entertain. 91. Now, I guess maybe some of the crowd would be hoping it was closer, so they get to 92. see more of him. But uh, Ronnie in the mood to wrap this up quickly. That match against Hendry or Williams is Thursday afternoon and evening. 98. One not to be missed. Sullivan staying on the pink. Well, 15 reds, and if this goes in, 15 pinks. You almost feel this should be some sort of prize for this. Do you know, I've never seen that before. I have never seen a player pot 15 reds and 15 pinks in a professional match. I can't recall. No, it's quite a strange thing to happen, really. I mean, at the top of the breakboard, we've got two one four sixes. Fair enough. That's one pink taken. But I've never seen a pink taken with every red. Of course, the black, the black cushion was the reason for that. Well, it doesn't matter now, anyway. But it's all over for Stephen Maguire, I'm afraid. Yes, Ronnie O'Sullivan in fine form. Back-to-back -back centuries to complete this match. 100 and 110. So, O'Sullivan, three times the UK champion through safely to the quarterfinals.